Hello boys, Cool Yoshi here, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 100%. In our last uh, playthrough, we got a cup episode there. We got a couple of keys and floors to explore, and now we're just exploring stuff with our new power-ups. Fortunately, not really finding much. However, we found quite a few gems, in fact. And we have a new gold mine. Getting every single gem, and of course, I had to present the mansion by exploring everything. Because this is an explorative game, and I like doing that. So, we're back in here. This is where we left off after a surprise encounter of some of our characters. I was just trying to room save when some ghost attacked me. So we're going to explore this new room that's never been explored before. I've heard a couple of new fades, such as apparently when you do the sucky move, you can move it up, angle it upwards to more easily suck stuff, so you can do stuff like this. And this is why I was actually missing so much money from the previous episode, so. Yeah. Gonna take me a little while to get used to the controls again. Okay, quite a few stuff. So I did that first, probably because it was better, because this opens a shortcut to the rest of this floor, which we previously weren't able to go before, but this entire area is completely new to us, so we're going to explore in here, and we're gonna find a couple of ghosts as a result. Interesting. There were some ghosts in here, but they are not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like we have to play kind of a little bit of a pull game here. I could easily see where the puzzle's coming from. So we have to blow stuff and suck it towards appropriately to pull them as much into the vaults as we can. And apparently the cue ball is included in one of those spots, so we're gonna do that. Light up all the stuff. And we get a little bit of a uh, achievement for doing that. Play billiards on the second floor. That's a little nice. So it looks like there's some challenges to do as well, but I'm not gonna focus on those right away, but. Yeah. Interesting. This area isn't so uh, good. Then, where are all the other stuff at? Well, that helps out quite a bit. I prefer to use the quick tap when uh, doing this, just because uh, it's a good speedrun tech anyways, and it's a little bit faster than trying to aim it manually at all, every single spot, and I prefer not to do that. So we'll remove all of these, only second and third one were absolutely necessary. Still, any kind of challenge being set up here is really nice. 
Okay. From the looks of it, we're gonna have to aim our fane up here. So let's use this to try and get something. Didn't work. Nope, doesn't work. We need uh, probably something else to solve a puzzle here, but there's still this that does move around. This is a nice interactable as a result. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't really know much else about the game right now. In order to keep myself blind, I'm probably going to not go slide the videos right away, just so I ha can uh, play for the game to its complete extent before I go back and find everything else. Okay, let's go for the big door first. Keep in mind, we thought there were secrets here, but there was nothing here. Oh, oh here's a secret, finally. Nice. That was a nice buddy secret. Okay. I just need to remember where the chills are because it's still taking a little while. Oh, and apparently the banana causes you damage, though it's not much. Obviously, we we're gonna mess up everything here. Interesting. This is what I meant to press, by the way. Whoa. That. That. That's what I was trying to remember. Oh gosh. Lots of stuff to exert. That was the trap within itself. Traps are starting to become a little bit more lethal this time around, damaging Luigi pretty hard. I guess we'll turn that off. 
because uh, this was causing a lot of burning. Sometimes you just need a little bit of an area of a transition to free stuff, or you need very specific items to do spots. So, unfortunately, I think this is one of those can't do anything here moments. But you never know what happens. A lot of this game is going to be about having to come back to unused areas or specific areas multiple times because just because we get one spot doesn't mean that we uh, get to all the stuff right away. Some things uh, take a little bit more practice to figure out stuff. Well, at the least, we're getting a lot of money, and it has actually found us a couple of useful things. The side sweep method is probably the best way of picking up money in this game. Oh! Our golden animal. All of those are worth, uh money if you pick it up, so definitely make sure to get that. Ooh. So if we play at this specific area, money may start coming in. It's interesting. Alright. Final room to explore that's not... At least oh. oh, that's a ghost. That was definitely a ghost, I could tell, because of the way he moved. He was definitely required for a secret. <laughs> I could tell pretty easily because of the way things uh, went that that ghost definitely had something in there. Does it take much before you find ghost hidden ghosts because of all the stuff that's going on? <laughs> yeah, I know. I... I 
Interesting. Some more money coming out of nowhere. Wow. That apparently gives us some money. I timed it right anyways. I had a little cap on it, but this is yet a gnarly G special area that can only be accessed with secondary Luigi. So now we can open the door, I guess, from the other side. Well, I guess if that doesn't work, uh, and, uh, we'll have to get Luigi to take all this stuff for us instead. That's a little bit of a trap, almost. Third one almost always has something. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Here we can usually see what's going in here, but we already got into there, so it's better to just go in here. Wow, so the sinks literally do nothing. <laughs> the zoo better have at least one hidden secret somewhere. Okay, we found a hidden ghost in there, but unfortunately that's all to explore of this room. Maybe there'll be more later. This is the one we already did before. Well, some stuff here, but still nothing too interesting, unfortunately. With all the exploring, you can sometimes get lost in this mansion-like area for hours on hours. Oh, except there's more... else now. Oh, yeah. A lot of them are just appearing out of thin air now. With certain traps only appearing after stepping into rooms now. Yeah. Well, now that we have the ability to move up, we can more effectively clear out the stuff from here. I think if ever there's a way to get something out here. But nope. Okay. Okay, we have to make it back to the elevator now. Still, that room was nice to explore. Oh, this again.
They get off to get stunned by all the guards if uh, they're slot enough. that we've had lots of times going through stuff but I think first floor has been checked out good enough now it's time to actually check out hotel shops on third floor because uh, that's the next area we haven't explored yet so is something that uh, needs to be done so inevitably there will be lots of ghost Okay. So we did, I think, apparently take out a couple of bosses in the last few episodes. So any ghost that's pretty much tough is like Vidius. This tells us all the different shops. Interesting. That one needs a key. Nothing else sitting there, but still really fun to find. Not really giving us much options. Only spot that he can really figure out what to do. And another hidden spot. Very interesting. Nothing but crap there. Oh, we'll have to follow the light first. That was the stuffy. <laughs> That's where the key is hiding. Alright. Uh oh, this one's actually kind of a little bit of a trap this time. In case you remembered from the previous video, if this Aligi touches water, he instantly perishes, so he has to find air ways to get around. Maybe something on the side could help us? Maybe we could examine it from underneath, or maybe something else is necessary. Either way, unless that water thing moves, we're not going anywhere here with the uh, Luigi. Or Gooigi. When Gooigi touches water, he instantly perishes. But we also need that gem there. There might be another way to get it with a power up later on. What's funny is we still need Gooigi to fit into the scratch so that we can do other stuff. Hmm. 
Okay, nothing else to do except uh, Adam disappeared and just move straight on to the next one because we already have the key we need anyway. And that could be a good reason why it's closed. Alright. A fancy doorway here. Nothing seems open. Was this some kind of patrol guy? Okay, he just hid away. Now we have a specific key to get. <laughs> All of a sudden. So, this is a shop area, except we can't explore anything, because a blocker is placed on all the doors. Well, it is nighttime, so they are generally closed, but still, let this leave a reason why we can't just go around here and do stuff. I thought that was going to be another one of those sneak parts. Right, again. That security guard had an elevator button. Uh, didn't see. Not far enough to get that activated. Look at the exhalation point appearing whenever uh, still uh, happens. There's gonna be a rat in here, right? Uh, not gonna start. There's the rat. Uh oh. There it is. <sighs> Secret gem. What? There's still more? Okay, not anymore. This is where we figure out that it can't be used. Unlock it. Even with the exhalation point. Okay, we're gonna have to trade a cutscene to get for any more of this, so we'll have to exit the area to after getting a fee, of course. I hope Luigi has been very helpful for you, Luigi. Don't know it. That he can move through tight spaces. Don't be afraid to use them. Oh, okay, so we can use them in these spots. Hmm. How much we can really do here? Can't hope. Um, yeah. Since we have Gooigi, we have to use some stuff for him. Yeah, figures. Easy wall there, and then we could use this with Guiji. I figure as much.
nice where it's not even too long early on and we are already doing double cobbles on ghost. Okay, this room has been cleared out and we got the hard key. And another gem immediately after that. Uh, ooh, a pearl. Those are really rare. Pearls are really rare items that could be very useful. So I think it is always closed like this. There's nothing changey with that. Unfortunately, that doesn't really change much here. We're gonna start switching between the two characters, I think. To keep them close together. And here we go again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that little secret. Only where the heck are we going? <laughs> okay, that was just for somebody, but that's a really well hidden secret. This game is definitely one of the longer Luigi Mansion games I've played. I know with proper Cedar Tech, Luigi's Mansion, the original, could be beaten in just under two hours while collecting all the stuff, but... Okay, let's do the obvious first. Oh gosh, coins. A small one. <laughs> nice. Now we need to figure out what was behind all this. Tons of coins.
Next this spot. Yeah, these ghosts are not making things hard for us. In order to figure out, we're gonna. Seems like we're gonna have to constantly figure out tens of puzzles. Huh, straight into this area. Oh, golden ghost. some money everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. So we found quite a few stuff and another golden ghost. <laughs> Lots of secrets so far, but how are we gonna get the second part to spawn back? More money. There's something out here. Interesting. What you were just saw... We uh, remember how they saw... Uh, if you use dirt like on suspicious areas, it will reveal spirit balls you can suck uh. 
It's been a while since I've uh, done that anyway, so yeah, I remember that. Of course. Oh, an hour ghost. Interesting ghost, we had to take off his glasses first by sucking early and then attack him. Slab is definitely a really effective way of taking out these ghosts that I get so far. <laughs> Gonna have to switch. This one's probably not as easy. Yep, Gooigi is able to sit through that. There's an easy spot on how to get into the area, but... Problem for us to both use at the same time. Oh my! Like, I'm not sure how I eventually figured that out, but <laughs> I kind of knew that this was a Luigi problem from the beginning, but figuring out how he would fit for the crack initially got me a little worried. Well, this is obviously not working. It was already gone from the very beginning. Oh, okay, that's a good niceness. Gooigi Al requires covers health over time, but um, because he is only 25 health, he dies a lot more quickly, so that brings up an interesting challenge. Okay, now for the final key. There's a puzzle just to get here. Hello. 
We still have to have a bring the key over, so let's do that next. Okay. Nice. Oh! Look <laughs> at that water tray. Thankfully, Luigi still uses that. So that's where that water check was coming from in the previous room. <laughs> More craziness are happening. <laughs> and now suddenly G is already up the stairs. Oh, yeah, this is a trap of some sorts. Time for a big ghost fight. Hey, it's the Slammer from the Dark Moon. I remember this guy. This guy is very painful, normally. The only reason I even remember the Slammer to begin with is this guy was part of the second game, which is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, or in some countries, the arcade version. From the looks of it, we have to get him to slam down similar to a flomp, make him slam to the ground, and then defeat him. Thankfully, I didn't take too long to figure out. So, basically a mini-boss of some sort, with the portrait posts being the bosses. He was quite an aggressive one, wasn't he? I'm surprised you were able to catch him. He'll be a big help to my research, you know? Keep up the good work, okay? <laughs> and now the elevator is actually working properly. But, there is still this weird problem on the side. Okay, that's not gonna stop. Alright, we're just gonna go directly to the next area, so that Egad doesn't rem have to remind us of stuff. It's still nice that Egad will tell you how to solve how those if you take too long. Huh? Most of them I s all of them I own, though, once I figured out stuff. Oh, he has the glasses, so we can't just, uh, attack him like we did before. <laughs> Z trying to hunt. Not gonna be easy. He's just going to fire at us, so another puzzle for Gooigi. Oh, this guy fights. This guy doesn't fight nice. He has uh, water as well. So we have some kind of police ghost to fight now. Who kind of just vanishes and does stuff. So yes, all of that dissolves Gooigi immediately, so... It turns from just a normal battle into a one it ko battle now. Luigi's also taking some badge, so we have to be careful. Oh, see, uh, look at that, he already discovered a counterattack. After 50 minutes of getting stunned, he's not going to fall without a fight. But thankfully, because of Luigi's counterattack, we were able to do that. So a little bit of a tougher boss because of a one it kill mechanic, but we surprisingly managed to get for that. 
good. Nice. That's the floor two key, which seems kind of pointless. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yet another boss battle taken care of. Kind of interesting that you don't give your purchases to EGAD immediately, just like most mm, tears. Oh, and there was even banana peels here too, so Luigi could have slipped on them and gotten stunned. That's not fun. Definitely a step up from the last bosses we've faced so far. Okay, nothing. Okay. Cool. I got it changes to just a uh, default uh, alt fun theme when going through stuff. So supposedly this is a security entry on some of the shops, which is kind of interesting. Wait, if the ghosts even take over this in the first place, then my one question is, who actually owns the mansion? Was the owner alive and then died recently? Or did the owner run into a ghost problem pretty early on and he has a bell or counter it since, so... The hotel appears to invite guests, but it's just creepy. Because uh, that would make sense. <laughs> the hole is no longer here in the initial part, so we have to check with Gooigi if the problem is going on or not. Nope, still going on. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to discover the new power-up to get through there. Maybe a nice power-up will freeze it or remove the water completely, or at least move it temporarily. Oh, oh right. Luigi, elevator can take you directly to lobby second floor. May as well head there and check it out, I say. Sure, why not? <laughs> we'll go directly to that. We're not going to be able to explore the mansion much anyways until much later, so I'm going to start exploring some of the new floors right, right now. Only going back to specific spots, I guess, in the areas. Once I have a couple of power-ups that might be useful. Because there's still the elemental power-ups, elemental fire, ice, and there's water as well. At least in the original game there was. And our puppy is back. Pucci the ghost is back again. That's what I'm going to call him from now on. So we have to follow him once again. Something has happened in the kitchen since our last time. We'll just follow him as soon as possible and hope for the best. A lot of the food has vanished since last time. So this is why the cheese was even there to begin with. Poochie was doing stuff. 
So we figure out I think this is Poochie Dog's home. Oh, but first some more ghosts to take care of. No, 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 no. He attempts to do stuff. Oh, this time they're going even more crazier. Whoops. Way too early there. This is what the area of effect at, at starts coming into handy you, because when there's multiple ghosts there, it's easier to use your flashlight to stun several of them at once. So, the way they toughen up these fights in the later game is by adding more and more ghosts. So that's a good reason to charge up your stuff. Also, now we can finally solve the mystery of this. Man. Ooh. This is worse than I thought. Oh, right. I can use this to blow away some stuff. No good. Oh, we found another boss in here. Nice. This says uh, another huge difficulty step up. Oh, <laughs> 
Nice. Okay, <laughs> I knew this was hiding a boss somehow. Somehow I just knew that something had to be going wrong. Oh, this is not as easy as I thought. A fake key get. It's as if this game already doesn't have enough pranks. <laughs> Goodness. Mm. So, we got another key there, but... Keep pressing the on button there. We have to end this episode right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you, ne in the ne you next time as we continue to play Luigi's Mansion 3, 100%, trying to get all the gems and all of the other items hidden throughout this mansion. And yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Bye.